Oh, hi, YouTube. Can gliders fly in the rain? We're about to find out as I fly through two different rain bands. Just when I think the first couldn't get any worse, the second one does. Let's take a look and we'll also have a look at other factors to keep in mind if you're caught gliding or landing in the rain. Right, this will be fun. We're going to go through this rain. On, so this band is coming towards us and it's going to arrive wherever I am. So I'm going to choose to go through it. I can see the other side of it through here. So it's not too thick. And then the ridge is working on the other side. There's other people on the other side. But man, that's quite a wall of cloud to go through. Wall of rain, I mean. But we're at 3,000 feet, so we'll easily maintain height all the way along here. And so I can still see sun through the other side. So this is a nice thin bit. It's thicker up ahead. So that's why I wanted to go now through it and then we just got to hang out down to the south here and wait for it to all clear through we'll just slow down a bit there visibility is going to get a bit of shit you can still see the other side quite clearly That's the worst of it, and then it'll get better. Look at that. Woo! It's pretty light drizzle rain. It's not very heavy, so that's good. I can still see the ridge quite clearly. And now we're coming into the clear air on the other side. Speed up again. So, can a glider fly in rain? Yes, yes we can. So, a couple of things to keep in mind. When you fly in rain, your wing's stall speed will increase due to the water on the wings. And it's both the weight of the water and also the aerodynamic drag on the wings. Also, you'll lose your yaw string. Uh, well, it'll stop working because it will stick to the canopy. Also, different gliders behave differently in rain. So you need to learn what, how your glider behaves. My Ventus seems to handle it okay. And I don't go too fast because of all the water on the wings. The drag will be increased, so high speed will make that worse. So here's a look at what we just flew through. And you can see there's light getting through there, so I threw, flew through the thinner bit. There's thicker rain up here, so you wouldn't want to go through that. We don't often get, well we do often get big bands of rain, but that's a front going through. and. Uh, we don't get too many of them going through in a day, so now i just got to wait for that to clear. Often it can be quite dead air behind a front like this, and you've got to wait half an hour or so for the wind to pick up again and get going, then you can fly the ridge. So then we started our task, and about an hour and a half later, we had uh, this situation to deal with. Well, I'm just debating whether to turn around now. There's a massive big rain cloud out to my left here it's a narrow band running with the wind uh, it'll be right my way when I come back my way forward looks okay I think we'll give it a go worst case we'll just have to hang out and wait for it to pass and then head south but there's always a chance it's thin enough and small enough we can push back through it so let's give it a whirl all right, well, this band of rain coming through does not look great. I'm going to make sure I climb here a bit before I head south, because otherwise I'll probably lose altitude as I go through it. I'm only 1,500 feet now, so there's not much to play with. Cloud base is not that high either, so we're just, we're just milking this bit here. This is the bowl. This always works reliably. So I'm just going to do some figure of eights here and climb as high as we at least 2,000 feet. Put our cloud flying instrument on just in case we lose visibility, but I'll turn around before that happens. I'm not going too fast, and I won't go too fast when we get wet either because our wings will be all wet. I can see sunshine just through here as well, so that's good. We've got 35 knots of wind, that's good. I want wind because that means the ridge will lift will work. I'll keep the speed up a little bit just to make sure that we get through here safely. You can still see Tiraha on the other side. 
the roof looks clear-ish. It looks thick to the... What's coming looks thick, so we'll get through here quickly. Ugh. Okay, there's more visibility now. I can see through to the other side better. You can still see the cliffs, the ridges. Rain, rain, rain. Just hope I don't get hit by lightning or anything crazy like that. It's going to be a bit turbulent through here. We'll just slow down a bit. Look at that. It's got to be one of the heaviest bits of rain I've ever flown through. Let's just talk about what happens if you were to end up landing inside a rain shower. There's a few issues that can happen. Uh, you've got to remember the ground will be really wet. So that can mean your wheel brake might not work. Sometimes the ground's really muddy, in which case you'll stop quick. But if you, your wheel can easily slide on wet grass. Your visibility can disappear completely too if you're landing in very heavy rain. So you can see how thick it is here in this video. It's, uh, you know, if you're landing in the middle of that, you might not be able to see a thing. As you can see, you can fly through rain. You just have to be very careful when you're doing it, especially on a ridge. It's all about visibility. Can you see on the other side? Can you see where you're going through? And quite frankly, that last one, I wasn't too sure if it was going to be too thick or not, but it was fine. As you get closer to these things, you get more of an idea. And you just got to be ready to turn around and give up and go find somewhere else to land if you if it's just not going to work so thanks for watching don't forget to check out our hats and t-shirts we've got some cool new designs on the online store thanks for watching we'll catch you next time